What's going on, y'all? It's Cop Pizzle. You know, I have to make this video because I see a a trend that is continuing week after week now. It happened the first week, it happened the second week, and it, and, it, and it's happened uh, this week, but really big this week. So, you know, because we, we live in a world where so many people are, are, are literally... They have the, the the brains of fucking mice. I mean, they're really some fucking idiots out there. You know what I mean? So, here's the deal. Uh, just to update you guys on, and, and those that follow my channel, this is the deal. This is the bullshit that I deal with, and this is the stuff that I, 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 I you know, I put up with more than anybody else on YouTube. There's no other Giants fan that's dealing with this crap. I'm the only one. Okay. I say this year in, year out. During the off season, people love to poke and fun, poke and prod at my YouTube channel. Okay, they love to tell me how many numbers I got for how many years. But when the season is going on, you know the real shit. There's no channel more electrifying and gives you more than my channel does. I mean, just look at the viewership of my post game videos. And realize that these are numbers that people who have 20,000 subscribers are getting. These same numbers. So, there's no question that as, when the season goes on, there's no place you'd rather be. My post-game video for the 49ers kind of blew up a little bit. Okay, little, little, just a little bit. Nothing special, nothing that I haven't ever seen before. But here is the pathetic sports fan trend that I'm going to share with you guys that happens to me. Somebody, some booger eater who has nothing better to do than to sit in his grandma's basement and, and cry for the meatloaf decides that he's going to share my post-game video, me eating crow, me being a man, me standing up to my words, not deleting my videos, but me standing up for what the fuck I said and eating my crow. Decides to take my video and share it on some booger eating San Francisco 49ers fan page on Facebook. And then, of course, it gets on Twitter. And you have these, 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 these fucking idiots who have these jobs of, of, of nothing, right? Are commenting on Facebook about my video. They're commenting on Twitter. They don't come to the YouTube channel. They comment there like fucking cowards. And... Here's the thing, and some did come to my video and, and, and say what they had to say. And maybe it's the first time they've seen a Cop Pizzle video. Here's the deal. Am I upset about the Giants losing on Sunday? You're fucking right, I am. But make no mistake about it. I fucking love my life. I have the best life a guy could fucking ask for. Seriously. I don't even, I honestly don't know if I would trade in my life. The only thing that's not going good for me in my life is the New York Giants. That's it. Everything else is fucking perfect. Quite honestly. So when you're on Facebook having no fucking life, or on Twitter having no fucking life, or you come to my channel for the first time and tell me that I am suicidal, or how could some loser get so worked up over a, uh, over a football game, or say that this is a kid's room, and I'm just some man screaming in a kid's room? You are as clueless as fucking clueless gets. Period. While you go to your sorry-ass job tomorrow making minimum wage, I'm going to Kentucky tomorrow, to check out on check my racehorse out. Okay? Now that's not me, that's not a swinging dick comment. But the fact is, is while most of you who came to my page or on Facebook took your Golden State Warriors gear and pushed it to the back of the closet, I don't do that. In fact, there's no greater time, in my opinion. To rock your team's gear when they are the worst in probably the whole damn league. Because it shows real fanhood. It shows that in life, you're not going to be a 7 minute and 20 second little bitch 
to your woman. You're going to, a guy like me, clearly, by the by his videos, has proven that I'm a 60-minute man. You don't like that I wear shades in my videos? Kiss my black ass. You see, I can't help it that you aren't capable of being who you really want to be. I'm sorry that your girl won't let you have a man cave where you can put whatever the fuck you want on, 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 on walls. Here's a tip, okay? If you want a man cave and you want your old lady to give you the green light, fuck her right. I'm, I, and, and even if you got the little dick syndrome, right? You can still give her 60 minutes and try your fucking best. Not all of you are blessed like Pizzle. I get that. But I got beautiful kids. I got a wife who's been with one man in her life. Me. Some of you out here with, with, with chicks have been with 12 dudes. And you're acting bad or something. Some of you can't even afford the car that you're out here driving. I do whatever the fuck I want to do. I don't have a job that tells me that I can't make this, make these videos like this. I'm living life exactly how a man is supposed to live his life. Doing whatever the fuck he wants to do. And not taking no shit from nobody. And standing up and saying when he's wrong. Not pushing his gear of, of, of shit that makes him embarrassed to the, to the back of the closet. You know, I've got more videos on YouTube over the last decade of the Giants whooping the 49ers ass. Not just in regular season games, but in playoff games. Did you share those videos? Oh no, you didn't. It just so happens you want to share the video of this year. I get it. What have you done for me lately? I'm not hating on that. But the fact is, you just called me at the right time. That don't make you any more of a man. Congrats on not being able to live the life you want to live. I hate that for you. That must suck. That must suck to always have to be told by somebody what you need to do. I don't do that. You can consider this being embarrassing. I don't give a fuck. It's called being a real fucking man. It's called being an alpha dog. Not a beta bitch. That's why it's another reason why I don't monetize my shit. Nobody's going to tell me how I can make my videos. Nobody. It ain't about the money. It's about being who the hell I want to be. Supporting them the way I want to support them. Share that video while you kiss my black ass. Simple as that. So, once again, while you're quote-unquote laughing at my video and thinking that, ha, 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 glad I'm not this guy, Enjoy going to your minimum wage job tomorrow. I'll be going and hanging out with a thoroughbred that's probably going to win me several thousand dollars. And if he doesn't win me seven, I'll just sell him for several thousand dollars. Maybe a several hundred thousand dollars. Who knows? We got to get him right. I'm living a good life. Don't get it twisted.